Hey Chris, happy Monday, even though I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to be making a video today because technically yours was late, which means that technically when you made it, it would have been for Monday. Anyways, I'm making one anyways, just because I feel like I should. And you can take it as Tuesday's video or Monday's video. I don't, I don't know. So whatever you'd like to do, take it as that. So I'm really going through a little bit of like, I don't know, it's really weird because I really, really hate my job at the movie theater and I feel like I'm not respected, blah, 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 all that fun stuff. But I only have three days left right now and it's getting a little bit sad that I'm leaving. Um, I mean, I still don't like management and all that stuff, and just how they run the company, but, I mean, I, I will miss the people, and it's kind of weird to say, maybe you can understand it, but I'm, I'm going to try to explain it, so, like, there's a lot of people that I really enjoy being with, but I would probably not hang out with them outside of work, and, I mean, that's not because they're bad people, it's just, I don't want to spend more than 30 minutes at a time with them, and I could leave at any time I want. I mean, that sounds terrible, but it's true. I mean, there's a lot of people that are like that, but I like their company, just not for a long period of time. Which is why I guess we have people that are best friends, or, you know, girlfriends and boyfriends. Because you can withstand staying with them for a certain amount of time. So... I think I'm just going to start gauging my friends into, uh, like, 30-minute friends. You know, like, three-day friends. Probably spend, like, three days with them without getting annoyed with them. And then there's, like, three-month friends. Which, if you can spend a whole three months with someone, then they're just, like, you should probably be dating that person. Or roommates, or something. <laughs> so, I kind of want to talk about how sports like, what they do for our community. And, I mean, look at how much uh, they've beaten down racism. I mean, in so many... I mean, there's... Remember the Titans? That's not an actual movie... Like, a real uh, history and event. I mean, I'm sure something similar has happened to that. I mean, like, look at uh, Michael Robinson as the first black baseball player. And, you know, you kind of stop looking at their color, or, or, like, you know, just anything physical, and you just start looking at, they're just a good baseball player, football player, soccer player, whatever, you don't care what they look like, and you can't really care what they look like, and a lot of times in football, you can't even, you can't even see what they look like, because they got a helmet on, so, and sometimes, like, Lynch, Marshawn Lynch, and on the Seahawks, he's got that, he's got that visor, so you can't even see his eyes, so the only way you can tell what color he is is you got to see, like, his chin. And, I mean, sometimes that's not even possible. So, I definitely think sports are a necessity. Alright, so I'm going to try to make this short because I don't have very much video left, but I'm, i got to make a punishment for you. So I want you to go completely vegan for a day. And I want you to tell me what you ate and... Uh, maybe even show me videos of you eating that stuff it's a, if it's especially gross. Anyways, I'm going to go. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.